Hey, I'm the Gamer, and welcome back to Vicky 3 1.6 update. This is episode number two of our Ottoman Let's Play series, Stickman of Europe. We're halfway done with the first stage where it can go horribly wrong or just badly wrong. <laughs> it's we're headed down a dark path no matter what we do. But we have two more journal entries to complete and we're less than halfway there. We still have about 11 and a half years of an original 20 year span. So we're doing really well so far with that one. Uh, we do have an education reform that we're working on, but we're not yet even 3% into the completion process of this. We are starting to speed things up a little bit with that. So maybe there's still hope, but flipping our education level to improve that literacy rapidly is an impossible task in the short term. So targeting another one, and we have really five options. One, suppress separatism. We looked at this at the end of last episode, and all we have to do is not have a separatist movement for 15 years. And we're nearly two thirds of the way through that. The bureaucratic reform with group that's in charge, just like the education reform, is going to be a very difficult task. But urbanization, 28%. We need 75 for all states. But I think right now our easiest other option is to once again attack Egypt and take four more states. To do that, though, it's got to be within our time frame. It's got to be within 11 years, and we just concluded the war. So it's time to find out on the diplomacy page just how long is our truce? Four years. Four years. Well, really, five. It's a five-year truce minus three days. The war has now ended just three days prior. That's a definite one to do. And in fact, let's just go ahead and pin that. So two out of these three. Are, are what we're gonna need to accomplish the first step in Sick Man of Europe and get the, the less bad option. Speaking of less bad options, uh, we have a new army from the states that were just uh, retaken and we don't need to be hanging on to these. Uh, for one though, let's go ahead and upgrade. Looks like we need more ammunition. And one to go. There you go. Excellent. All six. But now what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this army and it's going to add them to this army. Yeah, sure. That's the army with the fewest number of troops. I like that. Uh, so far, we have retained our position of seventh. That's a major power in the world, despite all the negatives that we're carrying. That's, that's not bad. Ooh. Uh, to have munition plants, we need a percussion cap, which is a tech we do not have. Russia right now is the number three great power. Their army is number two. Definitely a bit stronger than ours at this point. They have more than 100 units beyond what we have. They're also mobilizing as is. We can make a pretty big move against Russia, but it could turn very quickly into uh, conflict and we're not strong enough. Uh, I think we're going to have to take our time as we get another negative event. Come on. This this automatic Russia <laughs> escalation is a real problem. We need to get a friend in somebody like Austria. Yeah, they're just ahead of us as number six. They like us already. And we're not far off from a defensive pact or a uh, alliance with them. First time out, we expanded quickly and easily. We found three easy targets for small expansions. And then of course that larger expansion from Egypt. And we're just waiting for that truce to expire to attack once again regarding Egypt. And they've got to be weaker now significantly. They have a lot less troops than what they had. So we hurt their economy in such a way that they have uh, removed a large number of their forces. That's a good thing for us. Uh, I think Hediaz is, yeah, it's a tributary to Egypt. We don't have a truce with them, but no, there's no available play, I think. 
they'd have to be independent for that. Uh, it looks like our truce with Greece has already expired, meaning we could easily target them once again. And yeah, but they still have no reputable army. And I think at this point, we might as well take the last two states. Greece has no allies in this one. Uh, it looks like we actually could in Serbia. The more you make friends, the more likely you are to get those allies. So I, I have finally at least started to bother at, at least a little bit uh, using diplomacy and, and using that inf uh, influence. But we're only going to pick up 6.2 infamy for the first state. And I would imagine the second state would be uh, fairly cheap. Small chance that they will uh, accept. Take our smaller army to deploy. I'm not even going to bother deploying a second one right now until they have units at both. And for just an additional 8.5 infamy, that's only going to put us at 15. Cheap and easy. No additional support emerged, so this will be a quite easy task with only a single uh, regiment standing in our way. Mass communication, additional authority. That's enough to get in here and launch another consumption tax. And all that's going to leave in the Greek Isles is, well, off the Greek Isles you have Crete and then the Ionian Islands. That would be the next target, except that they are a protectorate under Great Britain. Definitely not something we want to mess with. If that situation ever changes, we'll claim them, but uh, definitely not going down that route otherwise. And Crete is under the guise of Egypt, so that's going to be a pretty easy target. We know when we'll be aiming for at least the four states beyond that. The infamy piece may not be on the easy side, but Nejd and Persia uh, have a defensive pact, but no friends. Otherwise, they're going to be a big target for us going forward. Okay, balance isn't great, but we really do need to increase the universities if we're going to get anywhere near uh, that target that we need. Got some unemployed in Albania. Southern Serbia. Okay, we'll add in four more. We're only just over 3% of 20 that we need, and we are now past that halfway point. Not a good rate. Not a good rate for now. But that separatism one continues to go well. And if we do secure the separatism one, and then the reclaim Egypt seems an easy task at this point. Just watching out for you know, what may happen here in the meantime. We're down to 36 months already. Okay, nice. Uh, they have rebounded Egypt, 2,200. It's still less than what they had before. Meanwhile, we're almost double them now. So it's it's become a much easier task even than the first time around when it comes to Egypt. So. Looking forward to that opportunity. Clothing might be our biggest negative, but the market price is generally a bigger indicator, a bigger issue of uh, what you need to address. And tools are significantly overpriced. Hardwood's still an issue as well. Uh, we do have our two new states here. Let's go ahead and make sure that they get incorporated. Speaking of incorporation, 13 years. We're not getting the five treatment here, I see. Being that much lengthier one. But Hale is incorporated. And these should all be incorporated as we retook them. Adana we already held part of. Aleppo is incorporated. Syria is not. Let's go ahead and get that incorporated as well. Okay, a lot of these are not. Short windows, just five years with the extra bureaucracy. It won't be too hard to complete that task. When we're able to focus on it, and it's probably not going to be for a while, we're going to have to try to get up to a, being a match for Russia, or at least having an ally strong enough to collectively 
be a match for Russia at 5,400 military strength. They're well ahead of us right now, but there's the percussion cap we needed uh, to get the ammunition going. So we have our three players to the north who are all just protectorates. Eventually, you want to make them either full subjects or absorb them into the nation and continue painting the map. So we're gonna start here with Serbia and we have the option to reduce autonomy. The infamy is less than two and it looks like they'll accept. And so uh, it may result in a war, but it's very unlikely and we have a huge advantage over them anyway. Uh, it does look like Wallachia would join them as their neighbor if it went to war, but neither is a threat. So let's go ahead and confirm. Automatic. It was automatic. So we now have a truce. It's not the same as Puppet, uh, which is what we have with Tripolitania or Tripoli. Wallachia is in that same protectorate status. 2.5, very low infamy here. They would accept as well. It uh, looks like Russia would join. No, 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 Serbia. That, that's just Serbia, okay. Serbia would join Wallachia if it went to war. So same as scenario uh, reverse, but actually Serbia is on our side. And that's one of the reasons to do this, right? You increase it and suddenly you get a few additional armies to, to help you out in conflict. And there you go. Now we have dominion status with them as well. Uh, Moldavia is the last one that I'm aware of. I, I need to check <laughs> the list and see who we are all. Another tiny, tiny one might accept. We certainly don't want Russia joining Moldavia. So we're going to hold off on that one. And that is because they have a shared border. We've at least painted the map our color a little bit more with that move. Double move. And still have very low infamy. Separatism piece getting even closer but our window is starting to close it's definitely getting late on five months left Ooh, they have a trade agreement with russia that's definitely not going to help us uh, but there's no physical relationship there they have gotten a little stronger here they've added in another six units or so Oh, we've unlocked skirmish inf uh, infantry. Much stronger. This is where you get into the ammunition and the small arms. We're still working on that ammunition piece. Did I not have that high enough up the list? I did not. Let's bump that up. I think we're going to need the uh, sulfur with that before we take on a whole bunch of casualties with a population that, you know, is not exactly groundbreaking in its size give us a lasting advantage not hold off for long but hold off for a year or so get a number of upgraded units bump this up to you know 5,000 or so but if we can surpass the uh, separatism movement just in case get that third journal entry complete and then you go on the reclaim Egypt. Six years is more than enough time. It's not going to take us too long on the war front, especially if we're stronger as opposed to weaker. That's slow. We, we, need, we need more construction. We really do. It's just costly. Construction is really quick to uh, construct thinking about it do we want to yeah 36 weeks this will be done in six weeks and it's going to cut that down by uh, not a lot maybe four weeks maybe six weeks border crossing hey 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 armed forces oh there you go there's there's a positive we'll take that that offsets we've had two negative ones uh, with that same event twice stacking the renowned playwrights used to stack now it's got a five-year limit on it so it can still stack a little but it won't stack like it used to 
slight negative balance now. 1.1 million in reserve for the finances. Munition plant uh, plant will start making money pretty quick, but I do think it needs that sulfur, so that sulfur is going to have to get done. It'll take less time to construct, though. And right now, I don't think we necessarily need to build new regiments or draft new regiments. It's more about making them stronger, leveling them up, and the munition is, is that next step. Okay, we're into the final year of the window. I think we've got about nine months and a week to go until this will complete. And I think timing-wise, with our munition factory, 13 weeks to go, the sulfur one versus 800. That's going to take a little bit, but we should be up and running slightly before the war, uh, which will help us have at least some upgraded units by that time. Same event. Same event. This thing is happening a lot. We really are going to have to do something regarding Russia at some point. But let's get through this sick man of Europe first. I think they're eyeing us because they see us as desperate and weak and sick. They don't have a significant advantage over us, but requires a friend. And a friend is not something we have at this time. Bully, Austria's friends with Russia. I was just looking at them as an option for a friend to, for us about two years ago. So we need like a Prussia or a France to offset. Um, we need intensive agriculture for the explosives factory, which we do not have that tech either yet. Looks like we'll have it relatively soon though. Not soon enough to make a difference here. I think we are gonna, it's gonna be what it's gonna be. It's like Prussia is about to have war with Russia and Austria. They're in huge trouble right now, but France is their ally. Oh, with obligation. Okay. Let's do it. We have a defensive pact with France now. That's helpful. They'll come to our aid if we get attacked. Having Austria and Russia side by side next to us is a massive looming threat and there it is okay we've hit january and there's our third one suppress separatism is completed one journal entry to go four years to complete it but egypt is the easy target as they are attacking prussia following our prior format uh, we do get the return state option on on all these key Egyptian states. It's going to make it a lot easier for us to go through. Uh, we're looking at some undecideds that are not a threat to us. Yeah, this is this is ideal. They are continuing to grow. They're up to 2684, but we've added in a little support, which is, you know, another 1000 uh, on top of our 4400 that we have now. Uh, yeah, we're much stronger. We're two to one so uh, this is a good opportunity and our infamy had just run its course it was just blank so uh, looks like we are headed for war so only three nations on the fence no one leaning their direction and we can go ahead and add the return state for all three of these uh, with a fairly small amount of infamy that's going to come from that. We're at 21. And war has broken out. Uh, they definitely added a few units, but you can see we still have a pretty strong advantage here as we aim for four states and our sick man of Europe completion. Well, that was easier than I expected. We've already advanced a couple of states each. Boom, pretty quickly here. And while they take the head on the initial war score by holding the goal, uh, now taking the first state anyway is starting to progress things our direction here fairly quickly. And it looks like we're actually 
going to be headed for a united front in the near future. Without Lower and Middle Egypt, Egypt is going to be drastically weakened. And there you go. So reclaim Europe complete. Sick man of Europe completed. We have successfully completed for the lesser of two evils. It's the Joe Biden of the world. Evil, but less evil. Yeah, unless you favor the other side and, you know, then you think he's more evil, but... They're, they're both pretty bad. I think that's something we should all be able to agree with. They're both pretty bad. Okay, well, it's not going to be all negative for this one. Uh, Ottoman Empire has successfully modernized and reasserted itself on the world stage. New era begins for the Ottoman state. Sublime! That is the only word for it. The walk. Uh, to walk the streets of Istanbul and see modern factories and schools, to see the guards practicing their military drill, a landscape once dominated by peasant farmers is now littered with shining cities. And to think that only a few decades ago, the empire was on the brink of collapse, where once the European powers looked upon us with pity and greedily sought to partition our lands. Now we see their diplomats gazing in awe at our accomplishments, forced to recognize us as equals. God is good. Additional reforms for the army. This would last for five years. Home offense and defense up by 20%. Military research speed by 25. That could certainly be helpful. But what about uh, reconquering the Balkans? Claim on... Yeah, we've already taken most of this. Not all, but most. Uh, we'll we'll go with the army reforms. Make us stronger for five years. Okay, these are not incorporated. We have the bureaucracy, but let's let's wait a moment and see what's going to happen there. But unpinned. Okay, some standard ones. Some standard. Munitions industry is one we are kind of just starting on. We'll, we'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, just like that. Spain wants to be our ally as we are suddenly stronger. In fact, we've moved up a spot to number six. Prussia in a bit of trouble when it comes to Russia and Austria there. shame because Austria like us our munitions industry will take off here fairly soon but we still need fertilizer it's a big chain of things that you need to have to make it work there is but we don't have the means for that one either we need intensive agriculture is that not uh, what we're already working on or will be working on very soon okay Stock exchange just a few days away. We're up to 68 and growing. No, not growing. 68.4, I think, is where we're at steadily. There's the intensive agriculture. It was so close to being done on its own. Nice. Rifling logistics. Construction levels up to a 30 at max. We're up to a positive balance. We have exactly 100 authority, so we could squeeze in another. Clothes now have pretty good value. I think we could probably trade in a couple 100s. That would be 500 or 5k. And we get 7.68 in return. Uh, it's about the same. It's about the same. <sighs> Legitimacy is pretty low these days. We have not been able to do anything with laws. Uh, I think it's time we try to see what else we could... 
the intelligentsia in charge gives us 60. Oh, you better believe this is a great time. It's a great day in Istanbul. 8% yet in charge of the government. Uh, And then the intelligentsia doesn't want it. That's going to make it that much harder. With the acquisition of those four additional states, we picked up another 20 units. They certainly have some upkeep, but uh, will come in handy. Uh, three larger armies now, one smaller army. We also picked up a second Ottoman fleet. Uh, it's obvious where those are going to go. Now 38. I like acquiring units the cheap way, upkeep only. With a now positive balance, I think we can take on a bit more expense in construction. It's, it's something that's still happening way too slow. But once this fertilizer plant is up and running, uh, this is going to take care of the munitions issue we have, which is going to allow us to start upgrading our army. Uh, the infamy is down to 14, so moving on to other projects. We're going to need tools, fabric, wood, and iron to get construction this way, uh, which is going to allow us to get quite a bit more, but it's going to drastically increase the cost. Might actually be an easier way to bump it up right now than adding new construction. Wow. Let's cancel this. Let's go ahead and do it that method. Yeah, it's talking about a 30k. But it's never quite right because the other things start changing. Tools are going to be the expensive one and iron. So in prep, you start doing tools and iron to offset it a little bit ahead of time. So it could react a little more quickly to the change. So tools, iron. By the way, I think we're down to, uh, what, two and a half year? window on what we just accomplished the literacy one it's getting better it's definitely getting better but we're only at a five and a half percent improvement we needed 20 we needed to get to a minimum of 20 but we also needed to improve by 20 and that was just a, a little too much to ask for without a drastic change in our government and the intelligentsia are finally in charge and still no window of changes uh, are possible at the moment. I think I want to get the first tooling workshop and the first iron mine complete before we then pff, turn it up and, and have it accelerate because it's definitely going to come at a cost. You can always turn it back down and, and that's kind of one of the neat things on what you can do. So at the moment we're building reserves. Uh, so I, I'm not even sure I need to go that far get far enough to begin offsetting. Aha! Petition the government. What is it you want? Appointed bureaucrat, uh, bureaucrats? Hold on, hold on. Right of assembly or appointed bureaucrats. Let's, let's see which one is. There's your appointed bureaucrats with its 8% and a lot of resistance. Right of assembly has a huge opposition for it. So I think we're going to have to go with the appointed bureaucrats, but neither one has much of a chance of uh, succeeding as the appointed bureaucrats is also at 8%, but it at least has less opposition. And it's just those local governors who are not in charge right now. So this could be a good opportunity. There's three groups that like it and it would make two of them like us, but at 8%. It's going to be rough. Well, we'll give it a shot. They're, I don't think there's enough demand from them if it were to break in the direction of civil war. Backing down. Checking in on reducing autonomy here for Moldavia. And no, Russia is still there and they won't automatically accept. So, Okay, so we did finish that first tooling workshop. That iron mine is on its way. Plot of eight failed and we're down to zero percent. Okay, yeah, that's that's not gonna help us any. Let's debate or stall. Sunni won't be happy, but everybody else will. 
Oh, and there's there's our event. We'll go with the discrimination. This thing's not gonna pass. That one's sticking around. I already had the event. Why is it giving me a secondary event? <laughs> and now we're gonna have a revolution over poor laws. All right, let's go ahead and turn it up. We'll see what happens. The initial is a pretty hefty negative. Another debate. Enactment time. Minus bureaucracy. That's not bad, actually. We could add bureaucracy, but make it take longer. Oh, nice. Armed forces. Happy. I like that. We're actually getting some positive events. We got rid of a huge negative period for us, and it's it's making things possible. Trade unions. They're an interesting one, because the trade unions can be problematic, can be helpful. Uh, but at 54, we're in no real danger of anything. They just want us to do the poor laws instead right now than what we're actually working on. They want to make them protectorate. That just ruled us out. But that should open up Persia for us. It's another setback, but we're up to 28%. Uh, it's kind of the only way forward when it's that low. One third, one third, one third kind of chance of it going just about anywhere. Oh, it went away. Okay. They are over it. It dropped below 50% on the radicalism, so that ended that. We continue on with just a 28% chance of success. Debate is still high. Stall is still high. It's looking like we are not going to succeed at appointed bureaucrats here anytime soon. Uh, the sad thing is it's going to fail if it's not a success, period. So minus 20 group approval. If it fails, it's going to fail. Even if time runs out, it's a minus 10. Either way, like, ooh, <laughs> it went to consideration. Dang, OK. So you're saying there's a chance. Oh, we just lost a bunch of authority, though. Still taking a pretty hefty negative. We've already dropped down to 500k. It's not really offsetting, not yet. So we're gonna have to back off again. Get ourselves back to a positive balance here. Slow it back down. We've got some of the infrastructure there. But we just burnt through a million in the bank there pretty quickly. And there you go. That's That just finished protectorate status. But if you attack Persia as additional defensive packs, they would have Kalat and Afghanistan. That would be it. That's, that's actually pretty doable. So Persia is a viable target for us. This will be our last go on this one. Lot of bait failed. Decrease the chance of success by 10%. Yeah, we're in trouble there. We are in serious trouble. That is going to do it for this episode, though. We completed the task, and I, I thought there was going to be a big follow-up to it. I mean, we had some permanent things, uh, negative-wise, and we've gotten beyond it. I, I really did think there was going to be a follow-up secondary, but it seems like sick man of Europe. Mission accomplished. I'm the Calthong Neighbor. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there, and bye for now.